Hey guys, I look red in this, but I think it's just because I'm a little bit somber and tanner than I normally am. I look like I'm wearing a uh, strap right here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a story time type of video. I've done a bunch of these, but like my first, I guess, like official story time where I've like talked about, see what is up with the sun. The other ones on my vlog channel, so I'll have that linked below, but it is the time that I got in a car accident. It's an interesting story, so if you want to see that, I'll have that linked below. But in that video, that was six months ago, I think I made that video. And in that video, maybe it was four. I asked you guys if you guys wanted to hear the story about when I got hit by a car because that is also an interesting story. I remember it was a Thursday. May on a Thursday, I was 12 and in seventh grade. I remember this day so vividly, these certain details because it's like a huge day in my life. The reason I remember it was a Thursday was because I couldn't go to school the next day and I wanted to go and I'll explain why in a, in, when I get into it. I had two friends, two neighbors of mine that one lived lives like right next to me and one lives up the hill and we always hung out especially when we were younger we always hung out and we were like the three musketeers. So Nicole is up the hill. Nicole and Allison were together and they came down to my house to see if I wanted to hang out. So then we walked up the hill. It was like 8 o'clock I think so it was getting dark and I remember this happened around 9 o'clock. So the ice cream man came up the hill okay like we want ice cream probably Nicole went and got some money from her parents because it was at Nicole's house so me and Allison stopped the ice cream truck we got across the road to get to the ice cream truck we got our ice cream and I feel like I got a king size thing I don't even remember I see I'm trying I feel like I remember but I'm not sure I'm trying to think of like what I used to get when I was younger probably like one of those king size cone things on the ice cream truck that always goes by in my neighborhood it still does to this day it has a stop sign on the back of it me and nicole went going around the front of the ice cream truck and allison was like following behind us and i swear me and nicole because i know we would have one of us at least would have looked across the road and i feel like we both did and we didn't see anything i knew better i learned you know to look both ways before you cross the road and i'm sure she knew too but I remember I was wearing a sweatshirt over my shirt and Allison kind of like yanked back on me a little bit because I was like, Nicole was here. No, yeah, Nicole, Nicole was here and I was here and the ice cream truck's over here and I was walking a little bit ahead of Nicole but she was basically on my side but Allison like yanked me back a little bit and I was like, what the heck? And um, out of nowhere, a car just... You know, it necessarily didn't like hit us head on, but it like, like our bodies like, woo. I think mostly we were just panicked. Me and Nicole like grabbed each other to start screaming and ran to the house. So obviously we weren't too injured or anything like that. Like nothing serious. Like we didn't break anything. So we were, we ran inside and her parents came and like, what's going on? What's going on? And we like ran to her dad and started hugging him. And we told him through tears, Nicole's dad went up to the person and started yelling at them. And I don't remember who called the cops, but the cops were called and ambulances came and Allison called our parents. And Allison, when, when Allison called my mom, I don't know if she just said that Paige was hit by a car and just like didn't tell him like she's fine because like I said, we live down a hill, but if you want to walk up to Nicole's house, it's about five minutes. If somebody, if like your child was hit by a car, you probably wouldn't want to walk, but my parents like didn't react. Like they just like shot up and started running up the hill. And my mom had hip and knee problems and she was running up the hill. I don't know why they didn't take the car, but they didn't even tell my sister what happened. But then Allison called her family and Allison's sister called my sister and they walked up together or they got a ride from Allison's mom. And they put a brace around Nicole's neck because she was more hysterical than me. And uh, she was kind of more in shock. And I remember just sitting on her steps, like crying. They put one on my neck and then they took it off. Nicole went on a stretcher. We went in an ambulance and my mom was, I think my mom was there or maybe she was in the front because I know that we didn't go in the ambulance by ourselves, but we went to a nearby hospital and we, I remember waiting in the hallway for the lighting, I'm sorry. My nurse 
was my third grade teacher, which was really weird. She's like, I knew you looked familiar when she, she checked my name again. I just got hit by a car. Nice to see you. I got x-rays. I didn't think I needed them anyway, but they checked because like I said, it hit my arm and I still remember and I might have a scar, but I had this big scratch right here. So they checked to see if I broke anything because I had like a big scrape on my arm. I got a sling and that was the first time I ever had a sling. I thought it was like the coolest thing because I always like I saw in school when I was younger the people that broke a bone or something like that they got to use crutches and I always wanted to have like a sling or, or a cast or something that I don't know because you know like back in the day and maybe it's I don't know maybe it was just me but back in the day I always wanted to be like the kid that broke something because then they got to have a cast and crutches and no or a wheelchair or something i don't even know maybe that's really strange it really is now that i say that i got a note to not go to school the next day and honestly like i really wanted to go because i wanted to show off my sling i remember going to see nicole but she was laying on a stretcher bed thing and she had tire marks like all over her body which was so weird because like i said she wasn't like ran over or anything thank god that was what happened with that incident but actually recently some of you guys may know if you watch my videos religiously that i did go to digifest in june it was june 6th and i have a whole vlog i guess i'll put that down below but i went to new york city and with my best friend anthony and i'll put his channel down below you guys should all go subscribe to him because his videos are so funny i promise you will not regret it and you'll love him just as much as me actually i probably will love him more but this was my first Uber ride, which we took to the hotel, and I actually tweeted about this, that this had happened a few like minutes after this had happened. I was getting out of the Uber because we got to the hotel, and I was getting my bags out of the trunk, and the driver was helping us, and I got my bags, and I backed up like a step, and I feel something hit me, and I go, oh my god, I just hit into somebody, and I was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, I apologize before I even turn around. I turn around and I see that it's a car, and good thing it was going really slow, but basically, I guess that kind of counts as being hit, and I do not have good luck with cars. It's a huge fear. That was the story of when I got hit by a car and I guess those were the stories. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd love to have you around. If you enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Tried to break me down like I would hit the ground. Don't hear the hate, don't care about